oops Capricorn this is part two welcome and welcome back to my channel <laughs> this is down to earth tarot please like subscribe share drop your sun moon rising down below and let me know where you're watching from always special shout out to my people in Michigan Lansing and Detroit especially family we are back into part two of the last video part one will be linked down below so we have the situation where you about to get thrown up under the bus but you already knew that you watching this person this person watching you for some of you, this is a recent falling out and or for those of you that it wasn't recent um maybe you have somebody who's just going out of their way like i said to get your attention um to make themselves look good after a situation where it's clearly coming out that they've been doing some things that are less than desirable and less than desirable, they don't want other people to know about this. We came down here to this three of cups, seven of swords, somebody being shifty, shady, a liar, a cheater, a thief, um, and asking third parties to get involved, maybe to keep tabs on you to see what's going on. We see these third parties potentially being a Leo and a Scorpio. But it could just be somebody who's clinging to a lot of lies. Notice this woman clinging to this lion. And this death card here in the reverse. Somebody refusing to change. Make changes. Get better. But what we were getting into when my camera decided to overheat was this Six of Wands moment. Is people recognizing as they're going around telling these little stories or the way that they're moving, they can sense the anxiety in their voice, in their movements, that they're stressed and they're just looking for attention, just looking to win or to have the upper hand here. Shout out to the people in Vegas with these cards. And the Hierophant here, Taurus energy, the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius, shout out to the Cuspers. But notice in this fire card, this little demon devil looking character here. For some of you, this obsession and this person watching you, as mentioned in the previous video, has to do with you breaking up with them, ending the relationship. Like I said, your silence is what has this person nervous. The fact that you're unbothered. Notice the hermit, like I said earlier, um, the hermit having their back turned to this king of wands, separating yourself, not putting any energy into it for some of this person trying to expose you. Or for, again, it feels like a lot of lies that this person is saying in an effort to expose you or um, <laughs> make you feel embarrassed. But people see the double, the, the double handed nature of this individual, what they got going on here, right? We see somebody serving up something here on this plate, but we also see somebody carrying this book in this pentacle. It's almost like somebody using what they know about you or what others know about you, your characteristics to, to get on whatever this is, to stay on whatever it is that they're on and tell lies. But also with this Hierophant and the reverse Capricorns, <laughs> this Knight of Cups also. There's like a side note that for some of you, not all, for some of you, this person does desire to be forgiven by you. Um, for some of you, this person desires to be back in your life. Do what you will with that. This, when I say that this person played themselves when they tried to play you, whatever they did, whatever whatever happened to cause you to distance yourself and walk away from this situation, they it it's ended ended up hurting them. Why do I feel like this person is trying to hurt you because they hurt themselves, like blaming you for their own problems, even though you 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 left the situation? The King of Cups here in the reverse, this Queen lacking boundary, yes. As I mentioned earlier with the star in the reverse, and we notice this woman, right, looking at this reflection, but it's upside down. This person's skewed sense of reality. Capricorn, it's giving delusional. Delusional, um, emotionally unstable, and also somebody who's very hot, hot and cold, on again, off again. What else for this person hurting themselves and now looking for some type of attention, whether that's through validation through others or you know, 
getting you to make certain moves. But even if that's just getting angry with the, the four of pentacles here in the reverse. Oh, a situation is super done. Not the four, the six of pentacles and the hierophant in the reverse. That's a 10. It speaks to unbalanced effort. Again, the on again, off again, hot, cold. The pros not outweighing the cons, even if it's a close one, which just tells me that whatever the cons are, they're heavy, right? We see the scale right in front of us. This here, somebody not keeping their word, somebody not being able to keep their commitments. But it could also be with this Taurus energy in reverse and this Capricorn here, this Four of Pentacles, that maybe somebody was just low vibrational. But like I said earlier, this might be jealousy with some of this. People can see that this person is putting on the, mm -hmm, the fool here in the reverse in this three of wands, that they're moving from person to person. Notice how this fool has two people in it. Moving from person to person, looking for somebody to validate their bad behavior, <laughs> their foolish, immature choices, backwards, upside down, ridiculous way of thinking. Maybe this person does too much drinking. Notice the wine bottles here in the back and these cups with the seven of cups and this three of wands here. New opportunity, just moving around. Whoever it is that you're dealing with that's going out of their way to try to make you look bad out of their own guilt or whoever this is. Again, got to acknowledge the cross watchers. Um, people know that this person is unstable, For even in the four of wands here. They know that this individual is unstable and that, you know, they may be clinging to these lies. They haven't changed. Some of these people... Toxic people in these relationships, they may even experience this with this person too, so they already know. But misery loves company. Notice how there's a lot of crowds here in the six of wands and in this ten of wands moment here. Lot, lots of people watching, two of wands as well. Lot, lots of people watching this. It's like that queen of pentacles, somebody putting on a show here, and that's why you had to distance yourself. It's too much. But also the fact that you pulled the rug out under from underneath them and distanced yourself. Maybe the only way they uh, maybe the only way they have access to you is through the internet. And with this page of swords in the reverse, fake profiles at that. You don't want anything to do with this person. This King of Pentacles here in the reverse is giving all the signs of you not even wanting to rekindle this relationship, even if you could. Two of, yeah, two of Pentacles in the reverse and the Temperance in the reverse as well. Sagittarius, somebody just likes chaos and drama. They create chaos and drama and their own problems here. Excuse me? You, yeah, creating their own problems and drama and expecting people to help them clean up the mess. The mess here in this Knight of Swords. Notice the crumbs on the table and the floor, the mud on the carpet, the shovel in the house with the mud on it. Right. This person might just be messy and that's indeed why you had to separate yourself from them. Again, some of you, the situation between you and them was very traumatic. That justice card could have been a legal situation or a Libra involved or maybe, you know, if you're really lucky, all of the above. Somebody is wanting a fresh start, but y'all are not hearing it. Or I should say somebody is not hearing it. Not hearing it. This individual selfishness was too much. Tower moment. Aries energy. Tis the season. A little Scorpio action as well. This is about to be shocking for someone. Some of you are still remaining silent, not playing into it. Others, this tower in the reverse is them trying to make you look bad is, is, is about, to, it's about to backfire.
Ten of Cups here, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Swords in the verse, and the Lovers, that hair font. And that, listen. Misery loves company. People can tell from the things that they're saying that things are missing from the story. Notice how this person's got an arm and a leg missing. A lot of things missing. And that they lack boundaries, right? That they're very vindictive, petty, right? Vengeful with this queen of swords. And this tower moment, the hair of I hear. Yeah. Heavy on the way that you handle this situation forces people to see it from a different perspective. It's one thing to talk about what somebody's doing, Capricorns. It's another for people to be watching them over time as you're talking and things misaligning. Things ain't lining up. Notice this person just minding their own business in this garden. Shout out to the people that like plants. Minding their own business while somebody's here playing the sad music. And then you see this person going through it. Just sad. Capricorns. This is the ending of the, the last video. So I'm going to leave it right here. I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. Our time. Capricorns. Check out part one if you have not already. Link to that is down below in the comment section as well as the description box. Find, follow me on Instagram. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Share this video. Find, follow me on Instagram. My account is private. So you will have to send me a request. Personal reading information is down below as well. And Capricorn family, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.